I got a lot of calls this last week about the changes for the Department of Transportation getting your service pet, your emotional support dog, on the plane with you. Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today I'm gonna cover traveling with your emotional support pet on an airline. With the new rules coming out December 2nd, what to expect and how to navigate these waters. According to the new rules, service animals are allowed with pet owners on planes. Emotional support animals are not. So, the big question, how do we get an emotional support animal to be a service animal? Well, you just need to have some sort of training behind that. So the dog has gone somewhere to get training and then there's documents with that. So then we can say this is a service animal who has training. So for example, the Department of Transportation does consider a pet that is supporting a pet owner for psychiatric reasons to be a service animal. That pet does need to have some training though behind it. So what is the Department of Transportation looking for? They're looking for four major things. That we have a history of training, behavioral, health, and a dog can hold its urine or the flight is so short. That last one's kind of dicey, but let's dive into it. So training would be that they went somewhere or they went to some kind of training class that has documents to prove it. And then someone can sign off, preferably a trainer, uh, that can say, we have had training and we are behaviorally good for a plane flight with passengers and tight areas and all that fun stuff. And then the health side is where I as a veterinarian come in. I've seen these documents already. I sign, I sign off that the doggy is healthy. And last is, they, they say in the, in the document that if, if we're going to be on a long plane flight, the dog must be able to relieve itself. Um, if it's a short plane flight, you're good. That's something that is very, very subjective, I believe. Now, the other thing that may not be super obvious about this rule change is emotional support pet is, is being removed and they're replacing it with a uh, service dog. And that's a big statement because people were bringing all kinds of pets onto the plane for their emotional support. And what that does is it, it eliminates uh, other species and it kind of puts dog as front and center. We are allowing these service animals, dogs, to come. And you can't bring a peacock or a mini horse. The one thing that does help the pet owner a little bit is you can now check in online compared to being required to show up in person to check in if you have a service pet. With that being said, you still must prevent your Department of Transportation documents the day of the flight with your pet. So... I mean, I guess they helped you out a little bit, but you're still having to show up and, and kind of check in with your documents for the pet. The pet owner can only have two service dogs per individual that needs that support. And this pet must be able to fit within the foot space of your purchase seat. The airlines cannot discriminate against breeds. For example, they can't say a Boston Terrier can't come because it's too cute, but a German Shepherd can because it's a working dog. No, they all fall under the same category. They are all acceptable. Of course, the airline has the right to decline if any dog appears aggressive. So aggressive dogs are not allowed, of course. I have found that it's been pretty straightforward. I've been writing my health certificates. I've been filling out my Department of Transportation document for the pet that is going for their health and the pet owner is providing other documents for training or other medical needs uh, that their that their medical doctor will complete for them if you have any experience frustrations or this has been beneficial to you please leave a comment below and like i really appreciate it guys